Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa. And there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating Black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are Black and Unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited. Well, hey there, see? It's Brandon. I love Hallmark Christmas movies, yeah? Hey now, see now, it's Brian. I like them damn Christmas, all my Christmas movies. <laughs> I couldn't. I, I do declare. I claim. lost that. I'm Dan. You see. I despise hey, those Hallmark hey, Christmas movies. You know what this is? It's the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. podcast. Hey, see? Yeah. Deck the Hallmark yeah. Kids Kids Podcast. No, no, we should not. We should tease it the whole episode. Too. We hope you like this jolly podcast. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we done it now, see? You know what's crazy is, is you and I did the old Hollywood accent, Bran, and Brian did Foghorn <laughs> Leghorn. <laughs> it's a rendition <laughs> he of was like, Hollywood. Well, I, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said. Now, uh, now you see... Uh, uh, like, you know, oh, they, apparently in the chat, Caroline Alexander thinks we all sound like Foghorn yeah, Leghorn. Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen to that, Caroline. <laughs> no, no, you definitely sound like Governor Henry McMaster. <laughs> <laughs> we are shutting down adult entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird that's place to go. <laughs> gonna, that's how he gets okay, into the okay. voice. Our most it's, listened to episode, right. and that's where you it's went. That's how he gets into the voice. When, <laughs> when everything was shutting down for COVID, our governor did a daily <laughs> did a daily uh, press conference, as most did, and he would list off the things that were shut down. And for some reason, hearing <laughs> Henry McMaster say adult entertainment. On a daily Imagine basis. Imagine Foghorn Leghorn saying that, because that's what our governor said. Chuckled me like. to no yes, end. I did. just thought it was hilarious. So there you go. That's for everyone Thank out you. there. Uh, yeah. Hello there. Hello um, there. Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, we had a guest yesterday. We weren't really f- fully able to just sit in what this week is, but oh, boy. a lot of episodes lot. this week, boys. Dan, what's that breakdown look like? Uh, I think it's 15 episodes in 13 days with the poinsettia Christmas parade. Smack dab in the middle of Smack it. Smack dab in the middle. Is this is right living. Middle? This is Greenville. It is. Wow. We're, li- yeah, it's two, two We're live five. streaming <laughs> the Greenville, South Carolina Christmas parade. Parade on Saturday, right around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, East Coast, Beast Coast. East Coast, 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 Coast. Coast. (laughs) So uh, hopefully you'll join us. Very excited about that. Uh, It was one of the highlights of my holiday season last year. It's such a fun time. And I fully anticipated being the same. If you're anywhere near, you need to to show up. Like a 200 square mile radius. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Come on down. I I gotta be honest with you, as excited as I am about that. Power um, Square. (laughs) There's so much going on on Philo right now. Oh, my it's, gosh. It's overwhelming. Ho- Holiday Movie Almost Hub, all the networks with all the Christmas movies. And, and, and it's not Record just like... them all. Keep them for a year. It's not just the made-for-TV movies. They literally do have a Holiday Hub there, and they got all sorts of movies that you're like, this is here now? AMC's yeah. got... A ton of classics. All the classics. There's some fun holiday game shows. Too. Yes. Food Network's got oh, a bunch yeah. of them. You I love, love it. I love the baking yeah. shows at the holiday season. It's Philo.tv slash DTH. So excited. Check it out. And there, we have a Deck the Hallmark channel now. So if you just want to have us on, uh, the go, go to the guide, pop oh, the it right on. Yeah. And there yeah, you go. Just throw us on. Soothing. Soothing sounds. The soothing CTH. sounds. The of, soothing sounds of here. Yes. Hey, hey, listen. Yeah. <laughs> now, huh? Uh, toots. <laughs> uh, we're talking about built more Christmas, if you can't Bill tell. Moore? Uh-huh. Built more, uh, just just up north, just, just up a hop, the skip, and a jump. You don't even have to get on. Well, you kind of have to get on the interstate a little bit, barely. Yeah, barely. Yeah, twenty six. Yeah. Is that even? Is that even an interstate? Really? Yeah, well, it yeah. does go to it's a different a bit, state. Yeah. So, and it is interstate. interstate. Yes, it would. It would. It would qualify. Check, that's checks wild. That, that box. Checks that that's box. all it yes. takes. Huh? That's all it takes. That's, that's all. all <laughs> that's all we're doing now. You just gotta go in order to become an interstate. All you gotta do is go to state to state. So yeah, I gotta do. We, it's like we can make one. Yeah. Uh, let's talk make about one. Bill Moore Christmas. Originally aired on uh, dis- Today. November Not even. 26, 2023. And it went a little something like this. Uh, we kick off. Nope, that's the wrong movie. The movie kicks off <laughs> by showing us some scenes from a classic movie, His Merry Wife, starring Jack Hudson. 
Screenwriter Lucy Hardgrove has been tasked with writing a remake of His Merry Wife here in 2023, and she wants to change the ending. It doesn't have to be a happy ending. Maybe we should make it more realistic. Her boss, Michael, is like, you know what? I think you need to see the Biltmore in all its glory. That'll help you help you show that you don't mess with a classic. Her problem with the original is that the happy ending just isn't realistic. But you know what is realistic? Balsam Hill trees and those amazing ornaments. I mean, do you see those things? Ama- amazing, amazing product placement from Balsam Hill. Uh, she makes it to Asheville and heads straight to the Biltmore for a magical tour. She is shown this giant hourglass from the movie, and she takes a, uh, a call, and during that call, the hourglass falls over. She picks it back up, and she walks out of the room, and she is on set in 1947. She sees Jack Hudson and freaks out and runs back into the room. She closes her eyes, and when she opens them back up, she's back in 2023. What the heck was that? She then sees some people walking around the Biltmore in cosplay for the movie, big fans of the movie, so she assumes that must have been what she saw, right? But she can't stop wondering. That was that was Jack Hudson. Like Houston. Could it could it be real? Could it be real? Jack Hudson wouldn't. Jack Houston, yes. Jack Houston, yes. Uh, she heads back to the library so and true. flips the hourglass again. Suddenly, she's back in 1947. Someone on set assumes that she must be in the movie, so she is rushed a wardrobe and handed a dress. Next thing she knows, she's holding candy canes in the background of a scene. After the scene, Jack comes up and he's like, hey, it's you, toots. Uh, she says um, her name is Sandra Bullock. Dan is immediately aroused. <laughs> she uh, tells... <laughs> That's funny. That's just for the people at home. That's good. Uh, she tells him that she knows... No, it's just for the people at home. Just, what does that mean? It's just for the everybody? people. Everybody? Looks so that was for everybody. Right that, joke right was for everybody. Yeah. that joke was for everybody. That joke was for everybody. Yeah. Uh, she tells him that she knows what happens in this movie, but he's like, no, that's not what happens at all. This ending actually isn't happy at all. I've been pushing for a happier ending, but no one's going for it. And so she runs back to the library, waits for the hourglass to expire, which happens in how much time, Brian? One hour, if you're counting at home. It's for because those it's an home. hourglass. It's in the name. It's crazy. So, it's in the name. She, uh, she realizes... Not confusing at all. She realizes that um, maybe the original ending is exactly what she's looking for in the remake. And so she decides that she's going to keep going back until she finds out what the original ending was and why they changed it to begin with. So she starts poking around and obviously Jack takes a notice of her being back and she tells him that she is here from the studio. In all of the frenzy, she accidentally knocks over the hourglass and breaks it. She now is stuck in 1947, which is bad news aside from the fact that she gets to hang out with Jack and the sparks are flying. They get back to the hotel and she sees a director sitting at the bar and so she goes to talk to him and accidentally leaves a note behind that the lead actor gave to her asking uh, the studio to replace the lead actress that, that, uh, that he doesn't like. She finds uh, that that actress finds the note at the bar and decides to quit. If I'm not wanted here, I'm walking. Uh, that was what she said. That was, that was my impression. <clears throat> um, so now this this is this is bad news because she's changing the future. So she and Jack rush to the train station to help convince her to stay. Jack asks Lucy to be his date to the Christmas Eve party, and she says yes. The director tells her that he has decided actually to do a happy ending for the movie. Thinks that it'll uh, it'll be a good 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 time good time. Uh, Jack and Lucy slow dance as if the night would never end, and they kiss. Oh boy, this is bad. He gives her his watch so that anytime she's running late, she can think of him. She realizes that she's done goofed and has fallen in love with a guy from 1947, so she abruptly leaps. She's running, um, and she finds out that the hourglass has been fixed. Just then, 
the actual studio executive shows up and he is real mad. What is going on on this set? Someone's been meddling where they don't belong. So they chase her into the library. Jack locks the door to try to hold them off. She finally tells the truth that he that she's a uh, time traveler and he agrees to distract everybody until she gets to the hourglass. They kiss big ones one last time. She uh, tries to warn him on her way out of the room about his death on Christmas Eve in 1948, but she gets chased out before she can say uh, what happens on that day. She finds the hourglass. It's sideways in the guy's truck. She uh, pulls it out, looks back. Jack is there, and she flips the hourglass. Poof, she's gone. She's back in 2023. There's a screening of the movie at the Biltmore, and you can see that Lucy is successfully in the background as Candy Girl. You are my candy girl. Uh, Cut to one year later, and the movie is filming at Biltmore with Wes Brown and Rachel Boston. Lucy kept the happy ending. She goes to see the hourglass one last time and walks out of the Biltmore. She looks behind her. Jack is there. He says, I tried a million times to use the hourglass to get back to you, but wouldn't you know it, on Christmas Eve 1948, it finally works. I didn't die. I disappeared. Uh, The hourglass gets locked away sideways. He will remain here forever. They kiss as it fades out to the Biltmore one last time. And that, my friends, was a Biltmore Christmas. We did it. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll break this movie down here on Deck of the Hallmark. Hallmark. This weekend's the weekend, everybody. If you are anywhere near Greenville, South Carolina, you're going to want to make it to downtown Greenville Saturday at 6 p.m. Why is that, Dano? The Poinsettia Parade. It is a great time in a great town. If you're close, if you're within 200 miles, you got to come on down to to Greenville. That's exactly right. This is Greenville. This is living. You're going to love this parade. It's small town parade, but they got a lot of fun floats. We got like over 85 different floats, and your boys at Deck the Hallmark are going to be judging. That's exactly going to be right. Live streaming it. You're going to get a chance to tour our city as well. You're going to love it. See the waterfall, see the main street, see the parade. Now's the time. You need to come visit Greenville and check out the parade. That's exactly right. We will be live streaming the parade this Saturday, so keep an eye on our socials for that. But if you are at all interested, come on in and head to visitgreenvillesc.com for all the Greenville, South Carolina fun facts you could possibly want. Uh, See you on Saturday. This is living. This This is is Greenville. Greenville. Well, hiya, Toots. How are you? you? Having a good day today? You got yourself a peppermint stick? <laughs> kind of doing some things? Maybe drinking a little hot chocolate? Having a good time, huh? It's time for the hot take. It's where we talk about what this movie and just go, huh, I like that. I didn't like that. Take it away, Brian. Sure. Okay. Back to <laughs> back to regular accent. See? <laughs> Uh, like, uh, like I was gonna say, this movie pulled us right back into that era, but Brand is pulling us yeah, right no, no, no. Yeah, like never left. There. Yeah, no. there. couldn't get, can't get out of it. Uh, yeah, they pulled right into the world. Like, and boy, oh boy, like, w- like it worked. Like, I was in it. You know, r- like I felt like I wanted to watch that movie that they were showing. The old, t- what is it? Uh, he, his, his married wife, his married wife. Like, I wanted. To, it was so great how that was. They kept kind of showing that throughout. And it worked really well. Like. That did a good job. It wasn't. It didn't feel like I was taken out of the current movie of Biltmore. It worked really, really well. Good stuff. Magical ending. Uh, across this table here, some of us were rooting for a sad ending. I was not rooting for a sad <laughs> ending. Uh, she left it alone. Sad. Lucy, Lu- it was not the... Forget it. You keep going. We'll, we'll get there. Lucy left it alone where she had a chance to flip over the hourglass, and she could have gone, and it, the ending could have gone a different direction. She left it. As is. So she gave us that sad, quote unquote, sad ending. Like a good, solid ending. He chose uh, Chris. Magic. He chose Christmas magic. Jack Houston chose to, yes, make it magical, to come back. She gave us that ending that Dan, uh, some of us, I don't know, plenty of fingers here, Sandra Bullock fans, wanted. 
Like, and, I'm the only but Sandra she, Bullock fan. How you dare are. you? She chose, he chose, rather, to give us the magical ending. And then just turning the, the, the hourglass on its side to freeze time like that. Just, I thought it was great. Like, that, it just was magical. And it worked so well. And uh, round of applause all around from me. Really, really, really liked it. Brand, you want to step up here? <laughs> come back to, come back to us here. Well, we done it again, folks. We have cured all sickness with this film. If you are feeling blue, turn this movie on. It is wonderful. I, I'm like ten minutes into this movie and I'm losing my mind. Correct. Uh, my hands are up here. My hands are here. My I just can't stop moving. I can't stop reacting to this movie. I adored this movie. Um, it is no secret that I love Chris Palaha. It's no secret that I love Joy Lenz. It's no secret that I love this movie before it even aired. But <laughs> having seen it, it's, I don't know. I love, I just, I absolutely loved it. And at the same time, I now want to see the entirety of his merry wife, Chris Palaha in a movie from 1947. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me this movie on a loop. You couldn't have ended it any better. If you try <laughs> a perfect movie, number one of the year, not even close. I absolutely adored this movie. Possibly my favorite Hallmark movie of all time. I just, it just did everything for me. I'm losing my mind over here. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. Dan, bring yeah, us down. You're going to be all right. I don't know. Um, I don't know, Dan. Am I? At In one of the preview episodes, probably the look back, probably, I don't know, all the preview episodes, I said, if you give me a uh, Palaha lens and an old Hollywood time travel movie, a bad version of that movie would still be good for Hallmark and still probably make the top five. Um, this is a very good version of that movie. Uh Lens and Palaha are wonderful. It is the first time I watched a Hallmark movie, and aside from the Biltmore ad of it all, which we'll get to, um, it felt like no expenses were spared. None. Across the board, supporting cast, lead cast, cinematography, script, everything. It felt like there was not a single expense, budget cut, anywhere to be found. Felt like a real movie. Um, the only thing I would say, and, and I know everyone's on a high right now, but... I have to be true to what the viewing experience was. I was enjoying this movie right alongside my good buddy, Bran. And I looked at him. We held hands. We did at one point. I looked at him and I said, do you know why this movie is beautiful, Bran? It's beautiful because for them to get the happy ending on the screen, they have to have the sad ending in real life. For the director to realize that Sometimes people get their happy endings and for Chris to stay and for her to go, she has to learn that sometimes happy endings are a good thing and she has to leave, extricate herself from that to create that happy ending for 80 years of the viewing public. And that's beautiful. Um, I understand. I understand that the, the only rule of Hallmark is, is if you sleep for the first 83 minutes, in minute 84, you get to see a happy ending. I was not... Contrary to what Brian said, I was not e expecting Lens and Palaha to not end up together. I I would have nothing would have shocked me more. I looked at Brian and I said, if these two don't end up together, it's the best TV movie of all time. It's the best TV movie of all time. Of course they end up together. Of course they did. Did that take away from it a little bit for me? Yes. Yes, it did. Is it still the best of the year? Absolutely. There are little things in this movie. Chris, when he's acting as Jack Houston, when he's acting as the character on film, his accent goes up. When he's offset, his accent goes down. Little things. Jonathan Frakes, amazing in this movie. Uh, John Putch, who's the director of the film and plays the director. There are so many little touches here that are great. There are so many cinematic shots that are wonderful. Some real cool wide shots. Uh, some really great acting and amazing chemistry. I I, I know they're going to end up together. I'm not foolish. I didn't think for a second Hallmark was going to actually have a movie, their, their biggest budgeted movie of the year, with their two big stars not ending up together with a kiss. There's no world where that doesn't happen. Did I have a little hope inside 
like just a little bit of like film integrity hope that I was like, this makes this romance better. It makes this movie better. Yes. It would have been the best TV movie of all time. Yes, it would have. Is it, is it now with, with that ending? It's not. Is it still for Hallmark Christmas movies? Gosh, guys, this is really good stuff. If you're going to go watch one of these, go watch this one. It's really good. And, and you know, you know what I think of Pala. You know what I think of Lens. They were as magical together as I thought they'd be. So great job all around. And, uh, yeah, new number one for this year. No question about it. Is it new number one of all time? No, not number one of all time. No, I'd have to think through that. I don't even know if it's the best Joy Lens movie. I, I think Unexpected Christmas... Ghosts of Christmas always are probably in contention with this movie. But you like, um, you like, you like I one hundred percent did like this movie. Yes, I did. You get a peppermint. You like get a peppermint. Movie. Take it out Dead of that wrapper. You like get a peppermint. Movie. Cause they like the movie. Dead they like the movie. movie. They oh. like the movie. He liked it. He liked it. What did he like? The, the movie. movie. The movie. Sure did. Mm. It's time for the feels. That's what we're talking about. What in this movie gave us those feels. Brian. Yeah. A lot of old timey movie feels, but um, I'll leave that to the professionals to talk about. The Thank scene, you. Yeah, <laughs> where they play jingle bells at the piano. Oh, come on. They sing to I each other. That, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> In front of three lit fireplaces. Uh, it just worked for me. Live music, people bonding and singing. I wish it was longer. I wish that it was uh, if longer. If they sang longer, oh, man. Talk about sparing expense, so not sparing expenses. Like, let's do that whole song. So that that was probably one of my, that was definitely one of my favorite scenes. Gave me super good feels. Uh, I have two things. One's like just a, a small thing that I just love. I, we we love Bethany and Joy Lynn's for a lot of reasons. She's She's the best. Um, and she does so many things on a regular basis that you're like, that is such a Bethany Joy Lynn's thing. And when she's at the beginning of this movie, she's talking to her sister and she's sitting on the couch with the laptop. And she, at one point just goes, I don't know, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which was just so perfect. Like, there's no <laughs> way man was in the script. It was just perfect. The way that she delivered that line. It made me just so happy. And I loved it. The last one is, uh, when she does, poof back and they they have this moment they they start playing uh judy garland's have yourself a merry little christmas which for my money is the best version of that song and one of probably top three favorite christmas songs of all time and you have this scene of her and 2023 and him and 47 going down the hallways of the biltmore and going to the same room because and 2023 she's staying in the same room that he was staying in and they both lay down on the bed and the song is playing and it's just magical gosh darn it movie magic language. movie magic i'm sorry yeah, everybody there, i'm right. sorry gosh darn it yeah dan yeah mine was the split screen when, when she goes back and they show them both going to the same same place in different times and having this unrequited love and that song playing that is it, it really is movie making magic that's as good as it gets so you took my brain Okay, so thank you. you. The jingle bells. Whatever. The jingle bells was really good, though. Yeah. The jingle bells was really good. But he did it, call it. I did. He called dibs. He did call dibs. dibs. He called dibs on it first. But he still goes first, him. but he that's calls right. dibs, yeah. and that's just the kind of guy he that's is. Kind of guy he that is. guy. So let's take a quick break. We'll come back with the way one, the what, the hallmark here on deck, deck the, the hallmark. hallmark. Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash black and unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from black owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair or the Allison Devon founder of T Spressa. And there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's black and unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are black and unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash black and unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash black and unlimited. The McNugget buddies are back. But this time, they got a fresh look as part of the new Kerwin Frost Box at McDonald's. We're talking all new buddies, dressed head to toe in the freshest fits, all designed by the artist Kerwin Frost. So when you order the Kerwin Frost Box with your choice of 10-piece McNuggets or a Big Mac, you'll get one of the flyest McNugget buddies to go with it. Think you can collect them all? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. At participating McDonald's for a limited time, while supplies last.
Welcome back to the boys talk about the best movie of all time. And it's time for the wait what? Uh, we'll work on the title, but I do think we're getting there yeah. for a really good title. Uh, it's time for the wait what? So we're talking about when this movie is go wait what? Uh, Brian, what'd you BS for this segment? Yeah, I can't I put piece together a few little things here. Uh, now, this is a legi- probably my only legitimate one. Uh, there is a time and a place for a Biltmore ad with a QR code. And it's not when Charlie is saying goodbye to Ava in, in black and white. In they black did and it white. again. Dude. That, uh, th- this I, is the, the same problem I had yeah. with um, Where Are You Christmas, mm. where you have the black and white. Yeah. It's just when the something of color pops on the screen, it, ruins it, it. takes you out yes. of 100% the stop. It. It. Yeah. Stop doing it for the love of God. Yeah. If you're going to make movies like this that are amazing and take you to a place, let us stay in that place, Hallmark. Please, for it. the love of all things. Yeah, yeah. It makes I you love look- Biltmore. Yeah. I want people to go there. Not then. Not yeah. now. Not now. It makes not you look then, not, not now, now either. <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> some, then, somewhere in between. Not now, but somewhere in between there. You'll figure it out. Just not then. Yeah. Biltmore's well, great. Yeah. Love it there. Not yeah. then, not now. Let me no. be in black and white for a minute. Yeah, yeah. It makes made it look a little silly. Uh, and uh, so Alonzo Duralde, Dave White, and Lucy Collins are the three people I've heard champion Turner Classic Movies and the Criterion <laughs> Channel more than anybody in, right. in this world. And so I was kind of grateful for the shout out there, but it was just, uh, that was pretty funny. Uh, and also, didn't they know each other like two days yeah, in the, this, the love declaration uh, was tough. Yeah, real tough. Like he gave up everything. Like g- great, sure, great ending. It's so ph- phenomenal. I'm so happy for they them. Don't, but they don't spend nearly enough time in this movie. Hardly for that. spent enough time. They no, yeah, 100%. they spent like two days together. And to be honest, if the movie was worse, we all would have pointed that out. Yeah, but yeah. you're so invested yeah. in the characters that I think you let, it, you let it. Maybe it's like Love was different in 1947. Yeah, I, well, two days in 1947 yeah, is a thousand like, years is a day <laughs> is elsewhere. And, and, and uh, <laughs> but but no, I think we better give, is one no, day in 1947. I just know that when when people declare their love in these movies, we always give them a hard time, and in yeah. this movie, it shouldn't get a pass because it was even less time on screen. Yeah. So better you know. is 1947. Better is. Are you good? Yep. I only have a couple. One day in your house. Better is one day at Biltmore in 1947. You really get lost in the ochre there. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, <laughs> um, you can do rounds. Be fun. So when she's talking to the director at the bar, they're having a conversation and she mentions eggnogs. She sure and does. And the, the director looks over. You heard the woman? Two eggnogs. Was this guy just... <laughs> the bar. Do you mind if I... just washing glasses right in front of them. That's all. I heard it. <laughs> Eggnog, I'm in. I got you. I got you covered. That uh, bartender, he was... It must have been real close. Uh, Helper of the year, maybe. Last but not least, if you are going to time travel from 1947 in the into the future, a Good place to land is the Biltmore. Yeah, because boy, howdy, right is it stuck in it's uh, stuck in time. Yes, you you'd be like, I really thought there'd be more changes. Yeah. I mean, you'll find the changes. Go to Asheville; it's freaking weird. But like the Biltmore is still the way that it is. So uh, pretty pretty good, like easing your way into 2023. If you were to do that pretty good place to do it. I can't think of a better place. Dano? Yeah. Uh, to quote Brian Harold, there is a place for a Biltmore ad and it's this entire movie. <laughs> uh, I timed it for about 30 minutes and we were at one every two minutes and 49 seconds. A pan out establishing shot of the outside of the Biltmore house. There are, I'm going to lowball it, two dozen. There are two dozen built more house establishing shots in this film not interior scenes where we get to see great decoration just a just so you know we're here at the Biltmore. it was incessant it, it was the only thing that took me out of this movie was the fact that they kept reminding you they filmed it at the Biltmore, and it was like we get it we look it's beautiful i understand we don't need you to Every two minutes, just pop it back up there to make sure we were on the same page. Um, Her boss, Michael Balaband, says she needs to go to the Biltmore. The next morning, she gets on a plane and goes to the Biltmore. In her room 
are the peppermints that were on Michael Balaban's desk all the way back in New York or, or L.A. or Santa Monica with a note hand signed by him. How? How did he get those there before her? I got to know that information. What is he also time traveling? What Prime is able to do these days? It's it's, it's unbelievable. Drones impressive. that go from Santa Monica to Asheville yeah. it just gets you right there. Is unbelievable. Uh, at one point in this movie, uh, she says she's very frustrated by the broken hourglass and said, "Why couldn't the hourglass just be a DeLorean?" That's funny, except. The DeLorean also gets broken. <laughs> in Back to the Future, the DeLorean, they have to fix they, the flux capacitor. Yeah. It's literally the same situation you're in with the hourglass. They, is, hide, they hide that sucker it, for 90% of the movie. That's right. It's no better. You would not, in fact, I would say tougher to fix the DeLorean than it is to fix the hourglass. Yeah, if, so, you, ta- if you think about... What's needed for the flux capacitor? Absolutely, you can fix glass. Yes. Like that's yes, easy. you can do that. A flux capacitor one point twenty one gigawatts. Forget about in the nineteen fifties. Real hard, Forget about real it. hard to come up with. Um, I'm very interested in what all the naval officers are doing on leave in Asheville. Uh, <laughs> they're at the train station, and there's all these naval officers everywhere. Like Asheville's not near like the ocean. Like it's like. Why are I think they, it used to be in 1947. In use, why was, are all of these naval, yeah, we don't like, need to all these talk about global warming, just though. around in Asheville? I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I, you know, I, maybe I just missed something. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I got. Uh, it's time for what the hallmark is where we wonder what could have been. Maybe having give some clarity. Any questions that we still have, uh, Brian? Yeah. How's speaking of how's how, speaking how, of. No, speaking of how's that built more eggnog? Uh, Ever sure. since seeing it on screen, mm-hmm. we've been yeah. doing eggnog o'clock. Yeah, around eggnog here o'clock around here. We're trying well, we, we don't eggnogs. talk about Bramble Jam Plus enough to be yeah, honest with you. Really well. It's a magical Speaking experience. Speaking of, there is a put time and a place for a Bramble Jam Plus. plus it's right now. It's There's a, a QR right code now. at the bottom of your screen. But you guys, you, uh, Dan, Aaron, yeah, have Aaron, been, been going sure. live to Tuesdays, the Double Decker Facebook Tuesday, group. Tuesday, 12, 27-ish. Always Yeah, yeah. always Tuesday, never late. We try out various nogs every week. Everybody brings a different nog. Yeah. One, one, and this week's my week. I did bring a nog. It's in it's the, free, in the fridge, fridge right, right now. now. I, so I cannot exciting. wait till yeah. Tuesday. Uh, I might join you guys this week. Ooh. ooh what a treat. Feeling what weird. Man, feeling weird. Is there feel enough present. eggnog for Brent? I don't really want him to. Yeah, Brent, maybe not this week. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Uh, <laughs> but I, I want to try that eggnog, you know? I'm all, yeah. I'm up for eggnog from almost anywhere. Is that from the Fresh Market, Dan? It was from the Fresh Market, yes. I know that bottle. Yeah. All right, that's, so that's it for me. Great, cool. Uh, her favorite number is 17 and a half, and I don't really know what to do with that, um, but congratulations to her. Um, and also, have you guys heard about the bit more? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a magical place, and uh, if you scan this QR, yeah. no, is it right we don't have that. that built um, apparently, we only do the QR codes for the women wearing the black and white, um, but uh, great place. Um, I, You know, I we got to talk to uh to chris and bethany a little bit while they were shooting the movie and shooting in a historical site like the biltmore has a lot of challenges um they shot the heck out of the biltmore they used so much of the biltmore and they showcased it amazing i i would have loved to have just been in the room with the meetings with the biltmores and talking about where they can shoot where they can't shoot the rules behind it like i i, I would have found all of that very interesting because it's, it's a historical site like it's, it's a it's a huge a huge deal uh so i would I've love to know a little bit more yeah I, cri- I think we got to go up there a day and chris said i feel like they had the run of most of it like got yeah to but use- they, there were certain things that they couldn't do yeah of course um because of what what it is so it's pretty wild yeah um my question is if are are, is no one worried about them recognizing jack houston in 2023 like if this movie is so incredibly famous and then this guy dies a year after it comes out (laughs) and it turns out he didn't die and they made that up so because he time traveled what are they like won't this be a pressing issue like Nobody's going to re- like recognize me like that. That guy looks l- exactly like Jack. Like what's he like? Are we Especially just at the buy? Biltmore? There's yeah. posters of him ever. at the Biltmore. Exactly. I, I just, I felt like that, you know, obviously we're getting the ending that you were promised before the movie started. I just, it felt like that was 
real neat and tidy because it needed to be because we were running out of time is right. what that felt like. Um, so, yeah, that was mine. We did it. We did it. We did, did it, everybody. It. Congratulations. Uh, the 40s were a different time. Um, fights were breaking out left and right. Uh, were there any fights in this movie? Let's find Ooh, out. It's question. time for a fighting chance with Vic Webster. Fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. What's the fighting in the movie? Did someone get hurt? Is a fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. A fighting chance with Vic Webster. Vic Webster. Yep, you guessed it. There was so zero action. I think he's getting mad. I think he's getting yeah, mad. Yeah, he's starting to get mad. I feel like yeah, I'm starting to feel that way. Yep. I'm worried we might not have him all week. Oh well, he boy. might be so frustrated. Yeah, really? You think so? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we'll man. find out. Should we give him a break? Will. The cool down? Maybe. I hope not. I don't know. We'll, we'll find not, out. We'll see what happens. Hey, we're going to be back tomorrow with... What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, catch yeah. me if you claw. Big catch me if you claw. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. That'll be Lonzo, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Alonzo's gonna be joining us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep, here they are. Happy day. As a major research institution, Arizona State University offers the most online bachelor's degree programs, along with world-class faculty and dedicated support. Discover why ASU is ranked number one in innovation for nine consecutive years. Tap to learn more. Meet Jack. He wants new frames to look good for the holidays, but doesn't have time to shop. I've got parties and presents and cooking and bird watching. I can't miss that. Lucky for Jack, he can find the latest looks and designer frames at the same place he shops for the holidays. Walmart? Walmart. So I can get flashy frames for holiday parties? Yep. And practical frames for every day? Yeah. And transition frames for my birding? Mm, sure. Wow, a finch. That's the microphone, Jack. Make Walmart your vision destination today. Welcome to Easy Eye Care. Welcome to your Walmart. Restrictions apply. Visit walmart.com for more details. Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa. And there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are Black and Unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash black and unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash black and unlimited. Diving deep into your passions has never been easier. Thanks to Amazon Prime. You get all-in-one access to the things you need so you can get more out of the things you love. With a range of services including Prime Video, Amazon Music, and Prime Fast free shipping. Amazon Prime is like your personal mission control for all the things that inspire. From shopping and streaming to saving, it's on Prime. Visit Amazon.com slash Prime to get more out of whatever you're into. It's on Prime. The McNugget Buddies are back. But this time, they got a fresh look as part of the new Kerwin Frost Box at McDonald's. We're talking all new buddies, dressed head to toe in the freshest fits. All designed by the artist Kerwin Frost. So when you order the Kerwin Frost box with your choice of 10-piece McNuggets or a Big Mac, you'll get one of the flyest McNugget buddies to go with it. Think you can collect them all? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. At participating McDonald's for a limited time, while supplies last.
Meet Jack. He wants new frames to look good for the holidays, but doesn't have time to shop. I've got parties and presents and cooking and Ed bird watching. I can't miss that. Lucky for Jack, he can find the latest looks and designer frames at the same place he shops for the holidays. Walmart? Walmart. So I can get flashy frames for holiday parties? Yep. And practical frames for every day? Mm, yeah. And transition frames for my birding? Mm, sure. Wow, a finch. That's the microphone, Jack. Make Walmart your vision destination today. Welcome to Easy Eye Care. Welcome to your Walmart. Restrictions apply. Visit walmart.com for more details. Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa, and there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating Black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are Black and Unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited. Diving deep into your passions has never been easier. Thanks to Amazon Prime. You get all-in-one access to the things you need, so you can get more out of the things you love. With a range of services including Prime Video, Amazon Music, and Prime Fast free shipping. Amazon Prime is like your personal mission control for all the things that inspire. From shopping and streaming to saving, it's on Prime. Visit Amazon.com slash Prime to get more out of whatever you're into. It's on Prime. The McNugget Buddies are back. But this time, they got a fresh look as part of the new Kerwin Frost Box at McDonald's. We're talking all new buddies, dressed head to toe in the freshest fits. All designed by the artist Kerwin Frost. So when you order the Kerwin Frost box with your choice of 10-piece McNuggets or a Big Mac, you'll get one of the flyest McNugget buddies to go with it. Think you can collect them all? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. At participating McDonald's for a limited time, while supplies last. The best way to give someone a gift they'll never forget is to give a gift they'll always use. American Giant makes clothes that just keep getting better with age. Like their iconic full-zip hoodie that's designed to last for decades. And a gift they'll wear for years is a gift that keeps on giving. But American Giant makes a lot more than just hoodies. They have impossibly comfy sweaters, classic t-shirts, super soft structured sweatpants, even classic everyday denim. All made right here in the USA, with a quality you'll have to feel to believe. American Giant is committed to supporting the local communities that make its products, to ensure quality, accountability, and transparency. So you get wardrobe staples that are anything but basic. Be a gift-giving giant this holiday season. Find gifts that will last at American-Giant.com and get 20% off your first order when you use code GRATEFULAG23 at checkout. That's 20% off your first order at American-Giant.com. Promo code GRATEFULAG23. Meet Jack. He wants new frames to look good for the holidays, but doesn't have time to shop. I've got parties and presents and cooking and Ed bird watching. I can't miss that. Lucky for Jack, he can find the latest looks and designer frames at the same place he shops for the holidays. Walmart? Walmart. So I can get flashy frames for holiday parties? Yep. And practical frames for every day? Mm, yeah. And transition frames for my birding? Mm, sure. Wow, a finch. That's the microphone, Jack. Make Walmart your vision destination today. Welcome to Easy Eye Care. Welcome to your Walmart. Restrictions apply. Visit walmart.com for more details. Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa, and there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating Black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are Black and Unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited. Diving deep into your passions has never been easier. Thanks to Amazon Prime. You get all-in-one access to the things you need, so you can get more out of the things you love. With a range of services including Prime Video, Amazon Music, and Prime Fast free shipping. Amazon Prime is like your personal mission control for all the things that inspire. From shopping and streaming to saving, it's on Prime. Visit Amazon.com slash Prime to get more out of whatever you're into. It's on Prime. The McNugget Buddies are back. But this time... 
They got a fresh look as part of the new current frost box at McDonald's. We're talking all new buddies dressed head to toe in the freshest fits, all designed by the artist Kerwin Frost. So when you order the Kerwin Frost box with your choice of 10 piece McNuggets or a Big Mac, you'll get one of the flyest McNugget buddies to go with it. Think you can collect them all? Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. At participating McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Give them a gift they'll never forget because they'll still have it years later. American Giant makes clothes that just keep getting better with age, like their iconic full zip hoodie that's designed to last for decades. Because a gift they'll wear for years is a gift that keeps on giving. So be a gift giving giant this holiday season at American Giant.com and get 20% off your first order when you use code GRATEFULAG23. That's 20% off your first order at American Giant.com. Code GRATEFULAG23. Meet Jack. He wants new frames to look good for the holidays, but doesn't have time to shop. I've got parties and presents and cooking and bird watching. I can't miss that. Lucky for Jack, he can find the latest looks and designer frames at the same place he shops for the holidays. Walmart? Walmart. So I can get flashy frames for holiday parties? Yep. And practical frames for every day? Mm, yeah. And transition frames for my birding? Mm, sure. Wow, a finch. That's the microphone, Jack. Make Walmart your vision destination today. Welcome to Easy Eye Care. Welcome to your Walmart. Restrictions apply. Visit Walmart.com for more details. Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash black and unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa, and there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating Black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are Black and Unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash black and unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash black and unlimited. Diving deep into your passions has never been easier. Thanks to Amazon Prime. You get all-in-one access to the things you need, so you can get more out of the things you love. With a range of services including Prime Video, Amazon Music, and Prime Fast free shipping. Amazon Prime is like your personal mission control for all the things that inspire. From shopping and streaming to saving, it's on Prime. Visit Amazon.com slash Prime to get more out of whatever you're into. It's on Prime. The McNugget Buddies are back. But this time, they got a fresh look as part of the new Kerwin Frost Box at McDonald's. We're talking all new buddies, dressed head to toe in the freshest fits. All designed by the artist Kerwin Frost. So when you order the Kerwin Frost box with your choice of 10-piece McNuggets or a Big Mac, you'll get one of the flyest McNugget buddies to go with it. Think you can collect them all? ba da ba 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 I'm loving it. At participating McDonald's for a limited time, while supplies last. The best way to give someone a gift they'll never forget is to give a gift they'll always use. American Giant makes clothes that just keep getting better with age like their iconic full-zip hoodie that's designed to last for decades. And a gift they'll wear for years is a gift that keeps on giving. But American Giant makes a lot more than just hoodies. They have impossibly comfy sweaters, classic t-shirts, super soft structured sweatpants, even classic everyday denim, all made right here in the USA, with a quality you'll have to feel to believe. American Giant is committed to supporting the local communities that make its products, to ensure quality, accountability, and transparency. So you get wardrobe staples that are anything but basic. Be a gift-giving giant this holiday season. Find gifts that will last at American-Giant.com and get 20% off your first order when you use code GRATEFULAG23 at checkout. That's 20% off your first order at American-Giant.com. Promo code GRATEFULAG23.
Meet Jack. He wants new frames to look good for the holidays, but doesn't have time to shop. I've got parties and presents and cooking and, and bird watching. I can't miss that. Lucky for Jack, he can find the latest looks and designer frames at the same place he shops for the holidays. Walmart? Walmart. So I can get flashy frames for holiday parties? Yep. And practical frames for every day? Mm, yeah. And transition frames for my birding? Mm, sure. Wow, a finch. That's the microphone, Jack. Make Walmart your vision destination today. Welcome to Easy Eye Care. Welcome to your Walmart. Restrictions apply. Visit walmart.com for more details. Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa. And there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are black and unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash black and unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash black and unlimited. Diving deep into your passions has never been easier. Thanks to Amazon Prime. You get all-in-one access to the things you need so you can get more out of the things you love. With a range of services including Prime Video, Amazon Music, and Prime Fast free shipping. Amazon Prime is like your personal mission control for all the things that inspire. From shopping and streaming to saving, it's on Prime. Visit Amazon.com slash Prime to get more out of whatever you're into. It's on Prime. The McNugget Buddies are back. But this time, they got a fresh look as part of the new Kerwin Frost Box at McDonald's. We're talking all new buddies, dressed head to toe in the freshest fits. All designed by the artist Kerwin Frost. So when you order the Kerwin Frost box with your choice of 10-piece McNuggets or a Big Mac, you'll get one of the flyest McNugget buddies to go with it. Think you can collect them all? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. At participating McDonald's for a limited time, while supplies last. The best way to give someone a gift they'll never forget is to give a gift they'll always use. American Giant makes clothes that just keep getting better with age like their iconic full-zip hoodie that's designed to last for decades. And a gift they'll wear for years is a gift that keeps on giving. But American Giant makes a lot more than just hoodies. They have impossibly comfy sweaters, classic t-shirts, super soft structured sweatpants, even classic everyday denim, all made right here in the USA, with a quality you'll have to feel to believe. American Giant is committed to supporting the local communities that make its products, to ensure quality, accountability, and transparency. So you get wardrobe staples that are anything but basic. Be a gift-giving giant this holiday season. Find gifts that will last at American-Giant.com and get 20% off your first order when you use code GRATEFULAG23 at checkout. That's 20% off your first order at American-Giant.com. Promo code GRATEFULAG23.